the women in Eritrea have been known to fight alongside their men for as far back as 1810 AD. Over 30% of Eritrean freedom fighters are women. That's more than any other liberation movement in the world that consists of women. You can see the remnants of war at the tank graveyard in Amara. It's a stark reminder of one of Africa's longest wars, the Eritrean War for Independence. This is when um, Eritrea gained independence from Ethiopia. Welcome to Wisdom of Africa, your weekly wisdom dosage. I am Karen again, and in this video, I'll break down the meaning of Five Proverbs from Eritrea. <laughs> Proverb number one says, if a lion shows you its teeth, it doesn't mean that it likes you. Just because someone is showing a friendly face or demeanor doesn't necessarily mean that they have good intentions for you. I'll give you an example. Imagine a co-worker at work who might appear to be friendly and helpful, but actually in secret, this person is plotting to sabotage your work and or take credit for your ideas. They may smile with you offer help but actually the true intentions are to hurt you so i take you back again to what i said simply because a lion is showing its teeth it doesn't mean that it's your friend and it brings us to proverb number two and all farted and demanded to be praised by his kinsmen they mocked him that it's not right to dance to an abomination. So the all in the proverb represents someone who is so foolish and is vain. And the fat represents something insignificant and incontemptible, incont like you just can't contemplate it. What is the proverb telling us? The proverb is warning you against seeking praise or recognition for things that are not worthy of it just because you farted you want praise oh come on it's always important to have a sense of perspective and avoid overestimating one's own abilities and or accomplishments look at me i just farted can you praise me <coughs> did you know that elytria is the world's first country to allocate an entire coastline as a reserve so the reserve which is the dalak group of islands is world renowned for their pearl production and this particular group of islands are largely uninhibited it brings us to proverb number three i need to remain focused so i'll tell you proverb number Remain focused, Karen. Remain focused. Proverb number three. Anyway, and it says three. Don't do that. Um, focused. Proverb number three. And it says the camel keeps on marching while the dog keeps on barking. What does this proverb mean? The proverb is a reminder to not let the criticism or negative comments of others discourage you and for you to keep moving forward with determination and perseverance because it is important to remain focused on one's own goals and not be distracted by the backing of the critics. I want to give you an example. So about two days ago, I read an article about the a gentleman who started something called Deliveroo. 
So he comes from America where he, uh, he worked in New York. Everything was accessible. And I think he, he used to get a, a, some sort of lunching allowance. And he then moves to London. Lunchtime comes and he asks, um, so what do we get for our lunching allowance? And everybody looks at him and thinking, what's he talking about? Just go to the supermarket and get yourself a sandwich. And this man was like, a sandwich for lunch? Well, in his mind, thinking, well, he earns a lot of money. Why would he just eat a sandwich? Why can't he order something decent, a nice meal for lunch from one of his favorite um, restaurants? And that's how he thought about Deliveroo. At the beginning, I'm telling you, everybody was telling him how it wasn't going to work. Honestly, this apparently he he himself used to deliver things on, on, on his bike, not realizing that when COVID came at the right time, boom my man's now a multi-millionaire that is the moral of the story ultimately you will succeed in building a successful business if you just hang in there and stay in there did i rant sorry and it brings us to proverb number four proverb number four says the one chased away with a club comes back, but the one chased away with reason does not. So what does this mean? Let's decipher it. This is a proverb that is warning us against using force or coercion to solve problems or to resolve conflicts. Imagine a situation where a manager is yelling and threatening an employee for making a mistake. Hey, why did you do this? Hey, why did you do that? It won't solve the problem. However, when the manager sits down with the employee, explains the problem and provides them with the necessary training and resources, the employee improves and the problem does not reoccur. Think about it. I personally think this also applies to Africa, not Africa, sorry, to um, parent, parent-child relationships. Beating is not always a solution. Reasoning and telling the child why you think they've done wrong, and in my opinion, I think, solves a lot of things. It brings us to proverb number five, and it says, tomorrow is pregnant and no one knows what she will give birth to. This is that the future is uncertain and it's full of possibilities, but we can't predict what will happen. So it's important to be flexible and adaptable in the face of uncertainty and to be ready to take advantages of new opportunities as they rise. Because you just don't know what she'll give birth to tomorrow. Elytrians are known for their resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity and for their ability to make the most of difficult situations. If I haven't sold Elytrians enough for you, I'm telling you, take a leaf from the Elytrian resilience. As the saying goes, knowledge without wisdom is like water in the sun. So, if you like this video, you are going to love this one right here right here you really are gonna love it